numbers in the nfl are three seven ten and fourteen so how we do in detroit son we do nothing but win ready i'm ready to bite some kneecaps ah! new england is bad real bad the highlight it's a close game the taylor heineke life yeah i love this pick i like tampa has been overrated all season long and and the people who make the books are still on this. They got blown out by Blake Purdy. Can Justin Jefferson be stopped? I don't know. If you watched how Carolina played with Andy Dalton, they were fine. Well, it, more importantly, Adam Thielen is probably like, can we put Andy Dalton back in? The spread's the way to go. You just have to know how to bet. It. Hey, 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 welcome to another episode of Math versus Smash. Let's Look fucking that. roll. Math, math's in yoga mode. So opposite in vacation. Yoga. What's the opposite of yoga? Mode? In, in vacation mode because it's been working all day. Um, we're pre-recorded, so unfortunately there'll be no live interactions. Yeah. Sorry, Chicago guys. I'll try to tune in. I'll try to tune in tomorrow and chat people up. Chicago guys will not be able to see say the word easily. Easily. Unfortunately. Easily. Number eight. Easy number number eight. eight. Number eight. And 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 just gonna get higher. Okay, there's it- a lot. Okay. There's a difference between the independent bet we made about being top 10 and the fact that you said he would he could easily be the number one passer in the NFL. I could I could be number one with Devontae Adams. Well, yes. Either way, again, Dr. Minshew's about- gonna throw throw the football over that mountain. Yes. Well, welcome everyone to Math vs. Smash Week 2, uh, brought to you by the Scene Snobs. Like, subscribe, all that good stuff. You know the, you know the drill. Right there. You know the team. Sturdy's the hardest working man in show business. Mick out there putting out podcasts and shorts and TikToks and flip flaps and scallywaps. Whatever you want, he'll do it. Not at all. He'll put it on anything that will take. How come, how come we don't get shorts? Well, what shorts would we do? I have all kinds of clips they could put on there. All right, Smash, edit them up. I can't edit. I can barely turn this thing on. Exactly. That's why we don't have TikTok shorts. <laughs> That's not you true. Know, I should not. I should not. I'm like, smash, smash can barely turn this thing on, but I am actually very competent. <laughs> Fair enough. Either way, like, kudos to Mick because, like, editing TikTok shorts is literally the most terrible thing that has ever existed in the history of mankind. I just make AI do it for me. Oh, yes. AI can do it all. Let's just let AI bet for us. We'll just let him. We'll just let him bet. Throw the money yeah, down. Like if they connected to the internet, it, it could, right? What the fuck is the internet? What the fuck is the? All right. Uh, <laughs> so I went. I went seven, four, and one. I got a bet taken away from me last week because of a tie. What was uh, the tie? It, it was. Which, a, the, you get a, spread, oh, you got a spread push was on negative one? three. The spread was negative three. Oh, you push. Push is fine. If you yeah, get your no, money back, push is fine. I don't want that money back. I want to win, baby. Just win. Just That's not win. bad. Seven four one. I made about. I think the grand total one thirty last week. I didn't hit on any parlays though. I didn't hit on a single parlay. All Saint my parlays. Saint Brown t- took me down in a lot of parlays. If Saint Brown 
had done anything, because I had several parlays that he was featured in. If he had done anything, I would have won so much money last week. Yeah, and, was, and he was the the sole guy who didn't show up. Homer is the Mets best, but also if you didn't think that St. Brown was going to catch more than you know eight balls in the game, then I would have told you you're crazy. But again, now apparently in week one, no one throws the ball, so yeah, nobody does. In it, like we used to be a wrong. proper country, we used to be, and now. Well, now, maybe we're becoming a, no, maybe we're becoming great again, though, because we're running the ball again. I do love running the football. Make America run the ball again. The the overtime sequence for the Detroit Lions might be the single greatest sequence in the history of football. When the off the most exciting topic in Michigan are the new Detroit Lions. Wait, we can't we can't play that though because we get we get worn, don't we? Maybe in like Malaysia, I don't care. Malaysia. I don't have any Malaysian fans. <laughs> but seriously, like that seven out of eight plays in overtime, and and one featuring an eight yard run that started as a two yard gain, but the offensive line just pushed everybody to the two yard line. Sean McVay has to call a timeout. Has to call a timeout in overtime on defense just to make sure his players were okay it's beautiful i love running the football i'm not gonna lie about that i think dan campbell uh, stole some stole some mustard from old jimmy harbaugh he learned the old michigan campbell is like 10 times the coach that harbaugh is come on how dare you 10 times the coach that harbaugh is the man who brought a national title to the to the modern University of Michigan. Listen, I love me. I mean, clearly, I love me some Wolverine just like anybody else in Michigan. But come on, now. Dan Campbell oh. is a better football coach than I think. Than from a success perspective, they're about even, though, right? They both made. Well, no, Harbaugh made it to a Super Bowl with Kaepernick, so he's still a little and bit. Campo made Campo made it to a Super Bowl as a coach. I thought, didn't he? Wasn't he yeah, part but of that not a head coach? That's a that's a big difference. I All guess right. I didn't like. Regardless, but I didn't. Talking about football, <laughs> we are. I mean, we're we're talking about like Dan Campbell and 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 two head coaches in the NFL. Bully like, ball. Honestly, okay. They low both play bully ball. They both we were both we were both wrong about the Chargers last week. I wasn't wrong. I was cautious. I I mean, I said they I said that they would lose a close. I did game. not we bet that game. Didn't bet it. Harbaugh proved us wrong. But I think Dan Campbell is it, it, if they went head to head, I think the Lions would fucking blow them out of the water. Currently, yeah, but like I don't know, San Fran or. San Diego is kind of in a rebuild, right? Like Harbaugh was brought in to like steady the ship, not win this year. Do- Dobbins wouldn't wouldn't run for a buck thirty on that on that on that team. Oh I'm actually God. looking so pumped that J.K. Dobbins is back. He's not Muscle as fast. Hamster. He'll be by as, next week. By next week, he'll blow his hamstring. Don't worry. He's not as fast as he was at OSU for sure, because like it's ta- the the multiple surgeries have taken their toll. But he does look way better than their other running back. So actually, I I almost I almost traded you Gus Edwards just because I I was gonna offer Gus Edwards because I was like ah he's got Dobbins he can he can uh, he can he can have Gus Edwards so that we get the handcuff and then I was like nah I'll wait and tell Dobbins hurts himself then I'll reach out with him. <laughs> I, then I won't need it because Gus Edwards is bad I'll just find someone else Gus in the in the way they play Gus Edwards will rush for hundred yards a game in that offense come on oh okay, yeah just. Just anytime they ran the they ran the ball sixty five percent of the time I think something oh, like can, can can you imagine Herbert only throwing the ball eighteen times Come on now <laughs> like come on now If Harbaugh is way Herbert throw the ball ten times <laughs> that, that, you're not wrong And eight times the lad McConkey we 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 how did, know how, how did you so how did you finish I went I went seven four and one What'd you do I went four and five But I I do say that. Two of those issues related to taking um, Carolina. The Bengals, the Bengals suck for both of us, man. Well, Carolina, I took Carolina and I took the Giants. Obviously, those were two very, very bad picks. Um, and well, I thought the, the international under for the for the Packers was bad for me too. It's funny because, like, I don't know. I was kind of against my model this week when it came to Seattle and Denver, but I did keep it the same. So technically, I lost that game, but I had Seattle and Survivor. So I don't know. You tell me. I was kind of all over the place on that game. I picked, I, I picked, I picked the Bears in Survivor. And yeah, and I lost Tennessee. Did you? Okay, listen to this. Three out of the last twelve hundred games, when a team has not scored an offensive touchdown, being down seventeen points, have ever came back to win the game. And they didn't even need. They didn't even need to be on offense. They didn't even need to play offense. That is the most Bears game. For a victory that I've ever watched. I watched that game. I watched every snap of that game. Dude, that game was bad. 
That Frankie. game was so bad. That game was so bad that at halftime, I pulled my phone out and upgraded my cable to have Red Zone. That's how bad that game was. I paid for Red Zone at half just so I didn't have to watch yeah. like just that game. So three of my five losses go to the Giants, Carolina, and whatever the abomination that occurred in Tennessee. So it was, I don't it was, think it was a joke. the model's not flawed. It's just. It was just confused about how bad two teams were, and it got unlucky in the other one. So I feel pretty good at four and five, even though I can't was... imagine what the under is on the Tennessee Titans. I, I um, can't imagine what the under is now in the future, but I would hammer the under. Whatever. I, up- I updated that. What is the Titans? Um, let's see. I can tell you. The Titans are the book has them at six and a half. Oh, hammer the under on that. Oh my <laughs> God. They are a bad football team dude i don't know i think carolina's worse carolina is a bad we might see realistically see two teams win two or fewer games this year i told someone today that i think carolina is worse than the white Sox. like i think there's like that potential that's a pretty that's a pretty bad the lions have already went 0 and 17 well oh the lions went 0 and 16 they haven't went 0 and 17 but don't don't forget that 0 and 16 season. That was a they tough had season. like 10 games decided by fewer than three points. That is not how bad the like if the Lions played the if the 0 and 16 Lions played these Panthers, I feel like they'd blow them out of the water. Do you know that <laughs> Carolina did not lead at all last year in a game outside of kicking the field goal at the end of the game to win the two that they won? I saw that. And that that, that is I, I think that is it, How do you not play I, with a lead in a year? I told you this last year when I went to go to the Lions Panthers game and Bryce came out so Andy Dalton could do a quarterback sneak on on a fourth and one. The baby Bryce dude. I got the whole section to chant baby Bryce and he turned around and flipped off the section because we were about six rows, six rows, seven rows back from their bench. The whole section to chant baby Bryce and it was hilarious. They everybody was laughing at and, and, and you know what? He's a joke. He's back he's quarterback. Bad. Well, he's a bad, yeah, I mean, he's slow, bad at decision, I don't, what is the deal? Bad decision like, making and he and and he can't throw very far. I don't get it. I don't get it. Uh I didn't so I mean there's a whole you know this. There's a whole host of quarterbacks I just don't get, but he is definitely at the top of that list. I well, don't like, get at it. least Kyler at the end of the game can make magic happen because he's so fast i mean he's barry sanders at quarterback right like the yeah. guy the guy is legitimately like agile fast can make people like he is a great athlete i don't think bryce young is a great athlete no he's not he's not I don't he's get not it. a good athlete I, I, like, he's like he's like mediocre athlete for a quarterback but I mean, clearly, also i mean okay i shouldn't say that say he's clearly a good athlete okay? no he's an amazing athlete he's a Pro athlete, but from but among other among, yeah. quarterbacks, he's a terrible athlete. Like he's got it. I feel like if you were going to build, if you were going to build an imperfect quarterback, that's exactly how he would look and play. Well, at least Scott Mitchell was tall, right? And could throw the ball a mile. Like Dude, Scott he, Mitchell, he could launch the ball. He could that uncork that football, just like Josh Allen. Right. <laughs> like, and, and Bryce Young can't see over his offensive line, isn't laterally quick, doesn't have a good instinct for throwing downfield. I think he had four passes of greater than 15 yards in that game, and yeah. they were all incomplete. That's like this like, new trend because the because the passing in, in uh, college is so short based now, and the way that Mahomes throws, but like that anyone throws over 15 yards anymore, they like they throw a pick because they don't have any arm strength or they just they literally do not have the vision and everyone's sitting in a cover three shell. They're like, bring it, throw it more than it's 15 time to, It's yards. time to bring back the wet toast, baby. Oh, it's, it's coming. Time. It's time. And then we're going to see a resuscitation of the cover two and it's going to be 1992 all over again without the hits though, without the hits. Like that's what the <laughs> and difference. all the only difference between these two coverages is that you bring someone into the box. That's, that's it. All. Like that's, that's it. it. That's like all this. I I don't know, man. I I will say this: like there right now is a clear gap between teams. I was looking at all of the the like scores, and part of it is this parity and how it's defined in the NFL usually comes down to record, right? But I think it should come down to talent. And right now, talent wise in the NFL, there is not parity. Well, yeah, because it's like you look at how bad the the NFC South is, right? And you go, okay, if you can go nine and seven, then that does that mean like you're doing the same thing as going nine and seven? And God, the uh, the, the AFC a- South, NFC North. Oh my God, like or the, yeah, or the NFC North. Yeah, either or. Well, which who knows? We'll talk about the injury to uh, Jordan and, Love. And 
and then maybe resurgence of, of Sam Darnold. Let's get to the games. We'll start um, with Buffalo, eh? Yeah, yeah. If you want to, do you want to pull it up? Yep, uh, I got it, it looks like this is going to be. I mean, I'm actually scared about this game for the Bills because Josh Allen right now is man, eh, and part Josh of it comes Allen's down to beat up and already, which is great. Well, and. I got this number at uh, Dolphins minus one and a half. So I'm happy where the number moved. And I think home field advantage for the Dolphins is going to play out in this game like it always does. And the Bills are going to lose in heartbreaking fashion. I stay away from if I, I my bet. I, I'm not going to stay away from this one, actually. But my bet comes here. I even like even at that high of a number. The Bills uh, lost another defensive back, too. Yeah. Oh, I'm going to have to log back in before I set my bet. But we'll do it later. Uh, I, I can pull you out for a second. Okay. You log in. I I think that like honestly, no matter what, this is going to be a high scoring game. Both defenses are suspect, even though the Dolphins kind of played tough in the second half last week. But you're going to have a scoring race, and it the Bills just don't. I mean, I know I'm I I got my bill I got my bill swag on today, but the Bills just do not have four of the best offensive players in the NFL. Yeah, they yeah. don't. I mean, they just they don't, don't have that. Like they don't they have the be, horses. Are they going to be more talented than I expected? Yes. I watched quite a bit of that game on red zone. I am impressed with their, the way they approach the game. Now, the one difference maker might be this Dalton Kincaid did nothing. I think he caught one path. Yeah. If they can get Dalton Kincaid involved, they might have a chance. That's the big difference is like, I know Josh Allen's the, the difference maker, all this stuff, but Dalton Kincaid, can stretch the field, exploit the linebackers that that the Dolphins don't have. The Dolphins do have a secondary, but they don't have any linebackers. Um, if they get Kincaid involved, it's a toss up. But I love the over. Um, I think that it's a smart bet. Uh, Forty nine seems low. I I like a I like a Dolphins. Let's call it Dolphins thirty five, Bills thirty two. I like. Yeah, I like. I mean, it. like I said, I just think the Bill, I just think Miami wins somehow in heartbreaking fashion. I don't know if it'll be low or high scoring. The weird thing, the weird thing is with Joe Brady is he's such a running, running heavy uh, offensive coordinator, and I feel like where where it's going to struggle with the Bills is I don't know if they play complementary football because I don't know if their defense is good enough to run the ball that much. If that makes any sense. Well, the other part is this: is that you can't be be as turnover as Josh Allen is and be a running team. Yeah, he's turnover prone. So you the can't second... score. You can't score fast enough to make up for the turnovers. Bingo. And it, in the past, they had talent. They could stretch the field. They could throw the football, so it didn't matter. He could turn the ball over a million times, and they'd, they'd stay in the game. Now it's a different team. So we'll see. I I like the over. I, I don't think the secondary slows down the Dolphins. If somebody wins, it's probably the Dolphins, and I think it's close. So I like the two and a half. If you're gonna yeah. bet, if you're gonna bet the spread, I actually like the Bills. Do I like the Bills to cover? If they get three, I'll take the hook. I, I like the Bills at three. I don't like it at two and a half. You're not gonna like get the three, at, but but you'll, you think it'll you think it'll grow closer before before Sunday? No, I think it'll stay two and a half. Or Thursday, I, I should say. Wait, Thursday. I think people like it at two and a half unless bad injury news comes out. I think it makes sense. You get the you. You get the Dolphins less than a field goal and the book bait you in. And if Buffalo beats you, then they beat you. So be it. Um, yeah. Negative seven. Hmm. The this, Lions. I hate this spread. I like hate it. Line. It seems so, like a trap. It's so a here's trap. the funny thing about this line, though, is that I have the Lions like th- I still have the Lions three points over uh, Tampa Bay. My I like I have them as a 10 point favorite currently. Like. Based on ranking. 10? 10, 10? Wow. 10. So I watched part of the game. I didn't see as much as the... Of and, like, the- I was lying correctly on both Detroit and Tampa Bay last week, too. So, like, I'm not off. My rankings are pretty close. Baker Baker looked more impressive than... So Baker's stats were more impressive. Tampa than also lost two defensive backs. Oh, wow. I didn't know that. But the, the Lions lost one, too. Uh, yeah. The guy the guy from Tampa is banged up, and Terry and Arnold actually came out for three plays. Uh, I mean, we'll, the we'll Lions see. The defense I'm- played better than they looked in the game. You're getting, you're getting two good offenses against two de- defenses that are either que- are either proving themselves or yeah. questionable. The the play's the over. Don't touch the line. The line's a rat line. I don't like it. That, that, yeah. I don't like the money the line. The half is high, but who cares? I mean, this game could be 70. If you're going to bet the spread, I take Tampa to cover just because of the number. Tampa but- plays Plays the Lions tough, and they they generally play well in a dome too. I agree Baker, there. I Baker agree likes there. the dome. Um, Baker likes dome and likes the dome. Yeah, I I'll be at the game. So oh, oh that's right, you do have tickets. Yep. 
I, I, I have tickets. I'll be the same seats. I'll be about seven rows back from Baker. Uh, I intend to give him my full fury. Um, I'm nervous because even though, so Baker's stats were better than he looked. Uh, Mike Evans bailed him out. Smash is also is- nervous because in the friend groups that we have, if Baker outplays Jared Goff, we're in trouble. Oh we're yeah, in, we're in trouble. We'll, we're we'll be yelled trouble. at. It. But here's the other part: is like the Lions that played last week. I don't think it matters if Goff plays lights out. They could just run the ball a lot, and the defense did look improved. Like it's not like the Rams' offense is bad, right? Like the Rams' offense is kind of great. Cooper Cooper Cup is still Cooper Cup, but the way they did it was death by a million cuts. Matt Stafford put his that's one of Matt Stafford's best uh, proficiency games he's ever had. He threw the ball 50 times. Flaw, flaw That's what time. it took, and they still lost. Baker's not going to throw the football 50 times. He'll turn the ball over too many times. Yeah, you'd think so. So I – I Like, in Tampa – we don't even know if Tampa's any good, right? Like, who – Tampa – like Washington's defense is like probably the <laughs> I worst. Said I said I hate Washington. I'm they never be betting the worst on Washington defense in the NFL. They might be the worst defense in the NFL. So I, I, and here's the other part is like Mike Evans isn't as good as Cooper Cup. Mike Evans He's also good. didn't freaking get me to where he needed to be. So Mike Evans, while <laughs> okay last week, was not great. He's just old. They also, the Buccaneers could not run the ball. So I also. Hey, did you know Aiden Hutchinson had a 50% success rate rushing the passer on Sunday? Like the Buccaneers are going to have trouble. The defensive line is much better. And okay, so this Baker can't get the ball. Out. The only reason Stafford wasn't sacked a bunch was because he was getting the ball out in two seconds. Two seconds. Who can do that? Him and okay. Mahomes. So this is so this is the NCAA player and me currently, but like Hutchie, like playing nose tackle every once in a while. Dude, he'd be so disruptive because he's so strong. He's I so strong. I like the Lions. I like the Lions win. I'm just staying away from the. Number. I just can't. When the Raiders are zero and five and they fire Pierce because there was a bad hire, Max Crosby becomes a lion, and the Raiders are not going to be zero and five. They're going to be zero and two. <laughs> They're going to be zero five. They are not going to be zero and five. Now, actually, I love the money line on this for the Raiders because the Ravens. This really? is where the Ravens get caught all the time. I mean, obviously bet the nine and a half for the parlay, but for the, I mean, man, the Ravens never cover this line. The Ravens don't cover it, but like, ugh. Lamar. Minshew, man. Minshew, Lamar, Minshew looked, baby. Lamar looked great. This but his Lamar, offensive line looked terrible. Well, yeah, but Lamar, so Lamar, I've you know I've never been impressed by him. Every year they've handed it twice, I think, the MVP. I disagreed. Um, He looked like an actual legitimate pocket passer. In that game against the Chiefs, I think I think the Raiders are such a great line, dude. The Ravens are the Ravens are so good at covering small spreads. They're so bad at covering big spreads. Harbaugh, he, Harbaugh's don't cover big spreads. They just I'm, I'm going back and forth here. I can't. I like the over. I like the Ravens with the spread on this. All right, so we're gonna be head to head because I'm definitely on the Raiders on this one. I, I, that's where I'm going. I I think they cover. I think the Ravens win by 10, but I do think Minshew throws for 300 against that defense. Like, I also I also love the money line because, I mean, plus 360 to see if you can catch Lamar sleeping. Sure, why not? All you, right. think, you think you think they'll – they'll uh, but they've had more time to pre- – I don't know. The Ravens, Ravens. are – the Ravens, if you're going to make me pick a Super Bowl candidate for the AFC on week one, even though they lost, it's the Ravens. No, it's, I'm dead it's, serious. I'm dead serious. I did. I watched the it's game. The it's the Chiefs. It's the Chiefs with the bullet. The, I mean, I I am not a conspiracy guy, but the refs low key handed them several like gimme calls that were were just outrageous. <laughs> fucking terrible. Fucking worst call I've ever fucking seen, man. You know I love Mahomes. You know I love Mahomes, but I like the Ravens. The refs were not Mahomes. on Mahomes' side. What or no? Were? I believe it or not, I'm not. I I I don't think the better team won. I don't. I don't. I'm sorry. I I think the Chiefs are dangerous. Their defense looks suspect. They have a lot of talent on the offensive side of the ball, but it's all it's all hinging yet again on Mahomes and Kenny. I'm just. Around and- I'm Do just betting on the Ravens being what they've been for the past three years, which is really bad covering big spreads. I don't blame you. I just think I think this is a this is a ten point game to the Ravens, a touchdown and a field goal. I don't, like the game could legitimately. I if you're gonna make me pick one of the two. I'm gonna take the over, but it could legitimately end. But think about getting the Raiders plus ten, man. Even like think about like. Jim Harbaugh punts for absolutely no reason. For no reason. Or, or not Jim Harbaugh. John, sorry, John I, I knew what you John meant. Harbaugh. I knew what you meant. The Harbaugh is like punt at any time, man. And that's at least worth a little bit of the spread. Tell me this. How 
is, are the Raiders this gap? And then we get down here. How are the Niners only six point favorites? Well, because the Niners are still without Christian McCaffrey, and they're on the road, and they're coming across the country. It's a tough. That's a tough place to play, and Minnesota did not look bad. Again, they played a bad. They're team. not playing the Giants, who are one of the worst looking football teams I've ever seen. They're, they're not good. I mean, I bet this all day. I, I, I would, I, so if you gave me a hundred dollars to bet this game for you, I would promise that hundred dollars back if we lost. Like, that's how sure I am about this is my stone cold lock of the century this week. The San Francisco 49ers blow out the Minnesota Vikings and prove that Sam Darnold is absolute dumpster fire trash. Sam Darnold is a terrible quarterback and the Niners are going to feast. I, that's, I can't say much more than that about it. This is called Aqua Teen Hunger Force, and this is my stone, stone cold, cold lock, lock of the, of the century. century. Of the... Dude, he nailed it. There it is. Well, I, what do I got? They, this, they, I'm trying to see what I have this lined at. See, I'm I'm close, actually. I make this I make this five. I'm actually leading towards Minnesota. Why? I don't know. It's just the numbers aren't that wide and the home field advantage gives you a lot. It gives you a lot. I did the, the Niners, the Niners defense played excellent. So, so think about it this way though. Like, all right. So you, so you reverse this, you take the two points away from Minnesota, you give them to San Francisco. This is 10 points. This is 10 points in San Francisco, right? Yep. I, 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 they're, they're gonna, they're gonna beat the hell out of the Vikings. <laughs> they look so the, even in a victory, the Vikings look S A W F T. I'll pro- I'll probably have money on San Francisco. I think I'm close. I just want I want six and a half. Or sorry, I want five and a half. Five I want and a half. You're looking guys. for. I want under the. I that want way, it like it covers you on the two field goals. I get it. Like, but the nine the Niners are gonna they're gonna obliterate the Vikings. I think, man. I know, like, probably, and it doesn't if this matter. Ends up, if this ends up being a 21 point game, I won't be surprised. Sam McConnell, Darnold, also, like McConnell he's not good. Lose by a lot either unless he like he's 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 bad with the lead but he's good from behind if that makes i don't know oh you know what i like the other bet i like in that game is whatever the under is on his yardage <laughs> i like the under on his yardage big time they're gonna take they're gonna take justin jefferson out of that game like he's not gonna be a factor i mean it's hard and justin jefferson be stopped i don't know are the niners playing him <laughs> It's a fair question to be asked, but as we go on to, can Justin Jefferson be stopped? I don't know. No one knows. He'll he'll probably have ten receptions. Is probably what's going to happen. No way, man. No way. Every time I say, every time I say otherwise, he proves me wrong. <laughs> um, that's just against the Lions. <laughs> this one, this one hurts a little bit. It's it's Dallas with a bullet for sure. But the oh, problem yeah. they is they looked they actually looked good. Well, Deshaun couldn't have looked worse, but um the they Saints, beat up on that Browns defense. They beat up too. And it, it, it was a physical game in the trenches and they beat up on them. The funny thing is, is like you should be getting you should be paying a premium. You probably should be paying seven and a half for the Cowboys. But the reason why you're not is because the Saints won last week. And so you're getting a you're getting the hook, but you're getting it in the best way possible. You're getting it against the Saints. The Saints suck. The Saints will continue to suck. And can Dallas Alvin Kamara up. please be traded to a good football team? <laughs> Not only that, Dallas is going to be at home. They're going to be in a dome. They're going to be playing exactly the game they want. Actually, play. oh my God, that would be a great home for Alvin Kamara. <laughs> this is Cowboys. Yeah. That. Oh my God. I just dawned, that just dawned on me. That would be a great home. For Alvin Kamara, and I bet you Jerry Jones would break the bank for him. Yeah, but the problem is, is they have Zeke there to you know get three yards and fall over. Dude, he, didn't we get a text from somebody? I'm trying to remember which which group chat it was. There, they were like Zeke's back, and I was like, yeah, right. Zeke's always back. Zeke's always back, back for three yards. I, I we're on the same page with this. Like, I don't. Yeah. I, I like easy. I like the under. I like six and a half. Yeah, the, the Saints might not score if the Dallas's defense is really where it needs to be, especially if at they home. They look like they did last week. Like a yeah. hey, car is not going to, he heaved the ball up. Is it, is what's his name? Shaheen. Is that his name? Yeah. Their Shaheed. Rahid Shaheed. 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 Rahid, Rahid Shaheed. He just heaved the ball up. Didn't see him either. It was one of those college like bombs and she just happened to run under it. They made fun of him in a, in a, in a TikTok post where it was like, uh, it was his, it was like him as a cartoon. He's like, I don't know. I just threw the ball up and he was there. <laughs> like oh, you just run and go routes. Let's go. The oop de oop. This, this game. Is it's a rat line. It's a rat line if I've ever seen it. What I don't like, I, here's the thing. The Chargers are going to beat the hell out of the Panthers. Can Jim Harbaugh cover six and a half two weeks know. in a row? I don't know. 
We don't know. The world don't know. I will tell you, the Chicago guys are really in on Carolina this week. Based on what? That's what I said. That's what I said. So if you're in the chat, oh my God, Bosa is going to to. So if you're in the chat tomorrow, the Chicago guys guys would like to discuss the Carolina Panthers in depth. Oh my God, I don't even have to think about that. Come on, guy, come on, fellas. Once again, the Panthers my, they might not win a game. My model has the Panthers zeroed out, and I'm still not at seven. I'm not there yet. <laughs> I, I will say this: I don't. Every like time them. I bet Michigan against the spread, I lost. Every single time. And they won the national title. They, they won it. The, yeah. Yeah. I'll say that I don't like betting pro Harbaugh two weeks in a row with this with, with the spread. I don't. I don't like it. But it's the Panthers. I I am going to until it stops working. So maybe it's this week it stops working. Every week I'm gonna bet the spread against the Panthers. Every week because I don't think they can win a game. It's 100 percent the right call. It's just like I said, over week one overreaction is 100% this game because this was lined at like two and a half before this week. And then that, <laughs> game, and then that game happened and four points happened, right? So it's like, okay. Are now, the Chargers- okay, I will say this. If something happens before Sunday where suddenly Andy Dalton is the starter, now I have a different conversation. And like, you, does the line go up or down if Andy Dalton's an out starter? It should go down, right? Maybe it goes like five and a half. He's got to be worth a point. So Andy to Dalton Bryce. gets Sam starter. We bet Jim Harbaugh at five and a half. <laughs> Can we come back in? I didn't like... I, I got to believe that Andy Dalton would be worth a point. I hate that they're giving you the hook too. They know you want to bet this game because they're giving you two, they're giving you two cents. They're giving you 108. Yeah. Like I <laughs> such a rat line. That's such but a rat What's line. nice to think about this Chargers starting the season two and oh, our boy, Justin Herbert with no targets, basically like is getting some love. I like it. I like the little West coast love, little West coast competition. I like that. I Lad like McCocky that. is going to have 10 receptions in this game. All he was for- targeted. He was targeted over fifty percent of the time by Justin Herbert. All for seven yards. <laughs> all, it was all just like. Uh, all right. Goodness gracious! I mean, I'm surprised the Colts are only three point favorites. I'm jumping on this now. Oh my god! Once again, this is this was lined up and looked great. So the Green Bay Packers were one and a half point favorites in this game before Love was out. Is that too much of an adjustment? I think I don't think it should be more. I think this should be four and a half to the Colts. I lined as hard as I lined pretty hard, and I got this as a, at the same number. I got it at exactly three to the Colts. I could see this end up being a push, but like it, I could also see this being a blowout. Like if Malik, if Malik can't throw the ball, which he might not be able to, he's bad. Then, I mean, then they could lose twenty to zero. Of course, we could rewind back. Let's rewind back to 1993. Don Mikowski is not going to start. I do not have time for 1993 right now. We will talk about Don Mikowski another time. Brett Favre, man. I mean, this is everybody said Brett Favre couldn't throw the ball. Brett Favre can't can't make oh. decisions. Brett Favre's bad, and so he okay, came out of nowhere. Was Brett Favre a rookie? He was his second season. Second season. But this is like Malik's like third or fourth, isn't it? I thought it was his only second or third. Maybe it's second. Either way, we know who Malik is. We have better indicators these days. We're not drafting Tom Brady in the sixth round anymore, okay? I, do you, I agree with the number. I like it. You too? I, I don't bet it. I think it's too close. What? Um, honestly, I probably just bet the over because Shane Steichen always hits the over. I did. Anthony Richards look, looks great, man. You got to get on that bandwagon now. The Colts are going to compete. Oh, yeah. From a fantasy perspective, the Indiana Colts are an absolute blast. We'll talk more about fantasy week three. Like I said... This is this vacation week. Um, I hate this game, dude. It's hard. It really under, is. I don't like at thirty eight. I mean, Kenneth Walker might be out too. I like the under. I don't know who's going to win this. I the Patriots are a bad football team coming off a win. The Seahawks did not I impress fixed, me. I have I have Seattle as a five point favorite. They could win by five points. They could lose by a uh, uh, safety. <laughs> like my, my problem is is. Is I don't know if New England's any good. I still don't know. They're a bad football team because it, Cincinnati is terrible week one every week or every year. You mean you mean New England? No, Cincinnati. I mean they played they played New England. Oh, I see what you're saying. Okay, sorry. So New England, I kept New England's rating exactly what I thought it was, which is bad. And if Seattle's as good as I thought they were coming into the season, and New England's as bad as I thought they were coming into the season, and I don't overreact, then I still make this a five-point game to Seattle. Hey, I will say this. Seattle, that Seattle-Denver game was closer than what the score indicated. Geno didn't look wonderful. Um, their run game did not look wonderful. But then again, the Broncos' defense is decent. Uh, 
I know they were bad against the run last year, but it, it's just like Patrick Sertan. Is but Charbonnet just, might be the awesome. starter, so that's the other thing that's a little scary about Seattle. I, I, I like the under. I see this as like, I don't know, 2013. Honestly, if you it. like the other, under, it probably correlates to the three and a half. You just assume that you get the Patriots, but you don't have to bet that here. But if you want to do a correlated parlay, that would that would be the way I'd lean. Yeah. I see that. Like if you if you like the under, that is. Otherwise, like like I said, I already bet this. I bet this when I had Seattle. I just have Seattle as a better team. Who knows? Um the Jaguars played way better than what was indicated and had turnover after turnover after turnover. I have the Jaguars as six point favorites in this game. I I think the Cleveland Browns are a bad team. I agree. Until they get until they get until they get rid of Watson, who's not gonna play. I think he's not gonna play. He just had more allegations. I mean, it really is just a matter of if if Watson is still their quarterback, I have them. Are they gonna call a, Joe Flacco again? Dude, bring him back. Run it back. Bring him back again. It worked last year. Bring it back. I'd run it back. Amari Cooper, that, Amari Cooper would be very happy about that. Yeah. I'm just really like Jacksonville is just the better team in this instance. And I'm going to bet against Cleveland until Deshaun Watson's not their quarterback. It's pretty easy. That's a pretty easy system. That's a pretty easy. This is an easy bet. It, that's is that your lock? Oh, dude, I don't know if I have a lock this week, but it's the one I have the lock. It's the one by far and away I have the, the biggest spread against. So let's go with this it. This is called Aqua Teen Hunger Force. And this is my stone, stone cold, cold lock, lock of the, of the century. century. Love it. Me and, the, uh, me, and ja- me and the Jacksonville Jaguar fan. Jaguars picks, they say they have the best draft in the entire NFL. Are you surprised to hear that? Uh, certainly not. The first year we took it to the limit. And I was in Miami with my new beach house. Well, it was a couple minutes from the beach. It's been 20 years. <laughs> it's a couple minutes from the beach. A couple minutes. I Duval. love it. Duval. You know, you know that lady smells like just absolute poverty. <laughs> <laughs> like uh this line isn't high enough the titans might only win two games this year this is like the other part that people are ignoring is aaron Rodgers is always a slow starter every single season he's ever had i mean he's the king of the r-e-l-a-x right i haven't bottomed out the titans yet but i probably just should and then i would be i would 100 be where you are if i lowered my ranking down another tier they would be exactly what this number is so the jets didn't look bad but they looked rusty the Jets um, looked rusty I had a we the 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 Chicago the Chicago betters and co discord talked about this at length the Jets I think the Jets defense is temperamental I think if the Jets don't think they can win the game their their defense gives up and then it starts to look ugly fast I the other part the other part is just that like the Titans have no RB1 we talked about this on the on the group chat like Tony Pollard yeah he's he, he's fine. He did. He had one good, really good run. He did. I told you that he had one really good run. Well, it's but weird that's what an RB two does, right? Like Tajay Spears is also only in on third down, so he's not even a spell. It's it's a weird. It's a weird. They have a weird. Now, now who could be in daily somebody that you might want to visit if he's at thirty? I think he was at thirty nine hundred last week. Is Chidi Okonkwe because Levis likes him and he keeps targeting him. And I know Levis is not great, but volume, right? Like that's what Daly's all about, and if well, yeah, Okonkwe is going to get volume. Why not? Yeah, especially at that price. Um, Can we just not bet this game? I don't think I. I did. I did. I. Who did I pick? This is terrible. Hold on. Who is going to watch this game? Um, people in New York and people in Washington. They have uh, to bench Danny Dimes, right? So. Here's the thing. I make this Washington three and a half. I don't want to. I'm not bending. I'm not bending. No, no. And, and I put N.A. Like I said, no. I told myself no. I said, I, 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 will I told not. you I'm never betting on the commanders again. And the Giants, the Giants, they, all you have to know is that Danny Dimes is bad enough that when he pulled back for, and it was a screen they telegraphed. They telegraphed the screen. They had people lined up for it, brought Malik neighbors in motion to the blockers. They had four people on one side, brought them in motion on the, on the strong side behind the blockers, snapped the ball. Dimes didn't even look just through and the defensive end jumped up, grabbed it and pick six. He has more pick sixes than actual touchdowns since signing that contract. Nailed it. So I don't want to bet it though. I refuse to bet on the commanders. I refuse to. Would you bet on the commanders if they had this guy? Yes, sir. You know what it is? Oh, oh, big party party. Oh, yeah. oh, big party party. Love it. The Taylor I Heineke life. I miss him. Uh, I don't know if we'll, we probably will not live the Taylor Heineke life anytime this season, unfortunately. Who's he backing up? Uh, Herbert and the Chargers offensive line looks fantastic. Yeah. 
I didn't, like I had if Jim Harbaugh's you know, quarterback gets hurt, I would be really surprised. Yeah. And when you only throw the ball at 18 times, I mean, I, <laughs> uh, I love this. I love every second of that bet. Oh my God. How are the Cardinals favorite in this game? You and you and you better you bet, man. They're starting to call it the Ramily because the Rams the Rams uh, lost a lot of steam in the betting community. I, that was I, a tough, I, I love that was a tough this game. bet. That was a tough game. That, who's gonna okay? If the Lions are going to the Super Bowl, what team goes in and wins that game? What team? I the, the Eagles. Do the Eagles come in and win that game? Maybe. 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 I don't know. I, who I that's the thing is like San Francisco. As much as I was hyped for for Lions Rams, I thought the Lion. I thought the Lions would blow them out. I thought that defense, whatever they did in the draft, and they kept mentioning rookies that they had on defense was great. Sean McVay's a good coach. Like there's just that, that's I mean, I, and Stafford still like now. Okay, I will say this: like, if they keep making Stafford throw the ball fifty times, that dude's arm's gonna fall off. He's 37 or 38 like you can't throw the ball you can't Kyron Williams is a good running back too they just didn't commit to him and like I like it I like that a point and a half the Cardinals don't have any defense they can't rush the passer the the thing is is like Murray's good when he gets six and a half he doesn't cover he doesn't cover one and a half point spreads their their defense played well man Kyler Murray so Kyler Murray didn't play well against a bad Bills defense like, that, could you imagine if the Arizona Cardinals could draft Jake Plummer again? Oh, do they wish? Oh my God, do they wish? Dude's out growing mushrooms in Colorado, man. Gannon, Gannon, Gannon is is already looking to the draft. I guarantee you, <laughs> it's tough. Well, like, I hate this spread. The Chiefs don't do big spreads. They do, we talked about it last week. I hate this spread all day. But here's the problem, or here's the reason why you bet the Chiefs because the Bengals are so bad week one through four. They're so bad. I still come. I still come here. Do I think the Chiefs are going to win? Yes. Do I trust them to cover? How many times do they cover a big spread? Like never, right? Like they look. I, I refuse. I refuse to put a big spread on the Chiefs. They just never cover it. I make. I make the Chiefs a nine point favorite in this game versus early what? against early Cincinnati Bengals, and I have the Chiefs marked down or or for their early season uh, flaws. I thought Burrow was the chief kryptonite, man. He is the chief kryptonite after week four. (laughs) I don't want to lose to the Browns. I already know how this is going to happen, too, because they're going to start 0-4, and he's going to he's going to he's going to get rid of the frosted tips, and then they're going to win 12 games in a row. It's going to happen again. It's going to happen we'll like see. it does every season. Yeah. Uh, Since they, the Bengals are a no-go for me pretty much until week four. So I just stay away from them. But the Chiefs, I like Are I you said, betting I the Chiefs to cover? Yeah, I made the Chiefs a huge favorite. Okay, okay, okay. Um, oh, this is hard. So here's the thing. Justin Fields played, I think he played just good enough. Just good enough to keep this job. Um, it's different, different animal playing the Broncos, though. That's a much better defense. <laughs> Like so, here, so you're getting you're getting Denver in the altitude, and they did not look bad last week. And Pittsburgh didn't look that good last week. Pittsburgh's Pittsburgh. defense, Pittsburgh defense looked great. I'm taking okay. the Pittsburgh two and a half. I'm taking the two and a half. I I, I didn't think about that. So TJ Watt already put your money on him for defensive player of the year. Do it already. I don't care what the line is. I don't care what the money is. I don't care. No. He. Look like a man on a mission. It doesn't matter though, because it's not that he's not great. It's that he gets hurt. He gets hurt every year. Wait till week ten. Do not, do not bet that man until week ten. His number's not going to go anywhere. It's going to be. It's probably like plus three. He's already. Now. I think he's the second. Fa- I think he's the second favorite right now to Micah Parsons. But like, and I think he opened the third favorite. So yeah, it doesn't change. It, like, I. It, it's not going to change. True. I. I in just. Week, in week, he's going to feast in this game. But he's going to be in Joe. He's going to be or not Joe. Sorry, Bo Nix's face the whole game. Like it's a pure. This is a numbers thing for me versus gut. I make this a zero point game and I'm getting two and a half with Denver at home. I'll take it. I guess we're head to head on this one. I want I want the Steelers to cover by a field goal. Even if it's in the even if it's just Boswell kicking five more field goals, they win this game. Possible. Possible. Um oh all day. Oh my God. Oh my god, all day. I didn't know this was only six. I thought this would be a nine and a half game. I'm dead serious. The Texans looked great. 
The Texans Where are like a have complete the football team. What? I thought I already bet this game, but apparently I hadn't. I make I, I make Houston. Oh, so some of these lines changed. I already bet these before these lines changed. I had Houston at five and a half. Six and a half. Six and a half is a little rich for where the number lies because I just don't know how bad Chicago may or may not be. Their offense is 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 absolute dog water. <laughs> I honestly think th- this is one of those games that we look back at and we're like Chicago six and a half on the road against Houston. It should have been fourteen. Th- Mike, which it, it, so the Texans. I think you might be F- buying low on the Texans, which is nice, and I think you're selling high in sh- Chicago, which I think is also a good bet. I have I have over a hundred bucks now. I have over a hundred bucks now on the Texans to win the division or uh, win the division and and arrive at the Super Bowl, not win arrive at the Super Bowl. I have over $100 on them to do that. They, um, do they looked complete. Diggs was a great addition so far. He's not complaining. That I think Joe Mixon might have been the steal of the century. They gave him the football 30 times, and it paid off. Um, I was so impressed with their team last week. Yes, they, they were had- good. That game went back and forth. And unlike last year where they were young, inexperienced, and didn't really have the veterans, they had the veterans now, and the game didn't get away from them. And I like this football team. I like this football team to finish strong. I like this football team to go deep into the playoffs. Um, It's a good football team. The Houston Texans are a good football team. Yeah, I mean, they didn't cover their line last week. That's the only problem. I told you the Colts Colts played really well. The Colts Colts played really well. Yeah, I think, I think, I mean, I look at this as Houston. Like, I would never bet the Bears, so who cares? No. It really is just Houston or bust, honestly. It, Maybe and the, there's no way the Bears pull off two weeks in a row not scoring touchdowns. I mean, like, yeah. it, Maybe, honestly, like, I just bet Chicago. I just bet the Chicago team total under. That's how I bet it, this game. If this were nine and a half, I'd still be betting the same way. Ten, I wouldn't. I Ten is, ugh. But nine and a half, I'd still be betting. And then last but not least. It, I mean, it's the same situation, right? Like It's weird because I think like I came in so high in Atlanta and I've already kind of I did too. Up. I've already bottomed out on them. Kirk Cousins looked hurt. It all I looked did. so it all looked so bad so fast. You know who looked better? Kyle Pitts. If you if you bought into Kyle, I have two teams of Kyle Pitts in fantasy. If you still kept on the Kyle Pitts train, I think that's gonna pay off as long as Cousins is is the starting quarterback. However, their defense and it, like if the if if this they were playing anybody but the Steelers, it wouldn't have been five field goals. It would have been five touchdowns. It's just, you know how the Steelers get in the red zone. They're yeah. so conservative. Like if it had been any other team, it would have been five touchdowns and a completely different game. Um, I like the how the Eagles looked in in a terrible stadium. So I'm gonna like how they look now. Like, uh, they look like the team that was there last year. Are they gonna win in the playoffs? No, sorry, Tomo. <laughs> I mean, it's, Philly might suck week 10. I mean, it just it just depends, right? Oh, 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 ball game, baby. There's something special going on at the bank. We're talking about the fighting. The- <laughs> Philly's hot. Philly's hot right now. He's real hot. I, I just think the, the Eagles looked good last week against the Pack. They're a great regular season football team. Uh, Saquon, great signing, right? Like Really good. <laughs> he really good. Wrong. I'd like, um, I was down on all the running backs that changed teams last week, and I was I was very wrong, unfortunately. Well, Saquon will pay. Don't worry. He'll peter out week 10. I mean. Oh, yeah, eventually. But, like, as far as, like, week one, like, I was like, oh, touchdowns, receivers. No, it was all running backs. It, <laughs> it was, was all running backs and quarterbacks. Um. So let's see. Let's see what. Oh, it's at a whole whopping one million fifty one thousand this week. I Ooh. love it. How much will my one dollar pay me? Let's get this ten thousand dollars. Ten thousand to one, baby. Let's go. Let's go. I love it. I love Under it. That, I'm tired. I got a pack still. So I'm. Um, the, I was math. This was, of course, smash. We are brought we to you guys. guys, the scene snobs, and our friend Mick Manhattan, and all of the For friends sure. there. We will see you all next week. 